one of the items in this particular box, dude, is already worth more than how much this box retailed for. And boom. Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I also have a dog that happens to look remarkably like a seal. But not the one that tans in SpongeBob. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Goo Lagoon camera flip. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today, guys, I am extremely excited because of one of my favorite videos of the quarter, and that is opening up the SpongeBob SquarePants subscription box. We've had several releases at this point, whether it was winter themed, whether it was Glove World themed, but this one is Goo Lagoon themed, which is perfect for summer. So we're gonna hop into this right now. But one of the items in this particular box, dude, is already worth more than how much this box retailed for. Really? So I'll be showing you guys what item that is in particular. Particular. But that's why I always recommend you guys pick up these subscription boxes. They're just filled with a bunch of amazing SpongeBob and Nickelodeon stuff. It's like $45 per quarter, and every single time they deliver with way more than that, it should have double its value. Not just that, over the time, being that the items are exclusive, they just become even more rare. So pick it up if you guys haven't already. I don't want you to miss out on it. And use my link in the top of the description when you do it. But we're gonna go ahead and cop into this box. We got the price on screen, and we're gonna be trying to see does this box crush that? And not just that, most importantly, you're gonna be hanging out with you and we're adding this stuff to the collection. Okay, so strip it into it. How we do this is we compare the prices to something like Box Lunch, Hot Topic, any of those places you can typically see this type of product. But again, all this stuff you'd never be able to find in those stores. So I mean, technically there's an extra on top of that, but let's check it out. Okay, we got the little card thing. <laughs> You thought you were gonna lose your eyes. Well, you did it, but you aren't gonna believe your eyes when you see the stuff that we got inside of here. Right, let's get in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to find the item that is the one I'm talking about. We just start off with it, and boom. The SpongeBob Ooh. Popsicle right here. And the reason why I say that this item is the big key one because this particular item is already selling for like $40, which is crazy because the box retails for pretty much that. But the reason why I'm talking about this item in particular, ow! God, is a, this is a toy. What did you expect? Can we have an agreement as a toy so it's all the same? I, I think I've already smacked it, so. Okay, okay, well, I'm not eating it, so you don't have to smack it again. Okay, so now that we got this thing together, let's pop it open. This That's one. so cool. I know, and I love the bottom of it. Like, this one has a different feeling. It feels so realistically melted on the bottom. They actually released this Reptar one in the summer Nickelodeon box, which I love the Reptar one. I love SpongeBob as a character more. Nobody beats it. But Reptar has a better figure, in my opinion. I think the eyes naturally mold to like that. Yeah, I just think the Reptar one looks so good. But this is the Melt one. I feel like this one has a better quality base. Like, feel the base on this one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah, it's like moldable. Yeah, this one's a little bit more flexible comparatively to this one. But this one does have a really realistic wood stick comparatively too, though. They've got differences for sure, which is weird because they're maybe the same company. But I, what I like is like you might think, oh wow, like the eyes, like you can kind of see, like it looks kind of weird. But at the same time, if you've ever actually eaten one, oh, like they, yeah, oh, they always good. look like that. Yeah, yeah, it looks like super, super close to it. But these are going for $40. But the reason why, dude, is because this is not the first SpongeBob Pops they've ever made. They actually released SpongeBob Pops as their own dedicated product, just like this. And this one has a little joke on the stick, and it actually smells like pineapple. Came with a set of four with different designs. Ryan will pop them up all on screen. But these ones individually are going for $100. So the Dang. fact is, is that the SpongeBob Pops have gotten so popular and like the whole nostalgia of them. This is kind of our reach for most people that didn't get it when it came out like myself, but this is a perfect secondary option and that's why I think it's gone for as much as it is. And it is an awesome piece and I wanted to start with that one. All right, and the Popsicle, it is going for $40, but realistically the retail price on this, I'm thinking 15. Easy. Oh, I was thinking like 15, easy 20. 14.99 is fair. So we'll do 14.99 for this guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy back in here for right now, awesome piece. Piece. He's got he's got a little bite taken out of him. I like that. Like yeah, it's really sick. I mean, yeah, the other one does not have a bite. That, that one's fresh. But it's absolutely awesome, and not just that. The fact that it's going for over forty dollars just makes this box even more worth it to pick up. But we're gonna be adding this collection, so stick around so you can see where we add it. All right, let's continue back into the box though and see what we got next here. So next up, I got a little small guy. Oh, dude, I love this. We have a beautiful epoxy pin, and it says "Welcome to Goo Lagoon." 
I heard that in the French narrator's voice, but I couldn't do it. You lagoon. Ah, goo lagoon. Please stop imitating me. It is starting to get very annoying. But we can put this on a bag. You can also put it on a beach bag, which would be absolutely awesome. But put it on my chest. <laughs> goo la chest. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this on the Nickelodeon pin board once we get started on that. There's gonna be a whole series about it and stuff like that, but we just gotta get started. As with everything, it's a work in progress. But for this, I'm gonna give it 10. I know it's, it's a so lot. It's so big. It's, yeah. yeah. I actually agree with that because the more we go to the box lunch Hot Topics, these pins are getting out of hand. I almost want to say like nowadays, you can't even get something branded for under $3 unless it's Dollar Tree. But we got the Goo Lagoon pin, 10 bucks. So we're at $25 in total with the Goo Lagoon pin already. And again, the first item technically was already worth more. All right, next up, we got a tall glass, a nice tall glass of water. Oh, somebody get me a glass because I just found me a tall drink of water. Okay, but let's check him out though. Ooh, I feel like this is the perfect glass in those commercials when somebody makes carrot juice. Yeah. Or some kind of like fruit smoothie that they never actually drink on a daily basis, but they got the blender as a gift, so they tried it one time. Okay, so it's got some scuffs and stuff like that, but that's actually just dust. But you got Squidward right here, you got SpongeBob, and you got Patrick right here. I like that this summer vibes. Yeah, it's really, really cool. The whole th That's the great thing about the Nick box is that you don't know what to expect, and not just that, it gives you some stuff that maybe you wouldn't necessarily go out there and find. Like maybe I wouldn't go out and look for a summer specific Spongebob glass. But with the Nick box and the Spongebob box, that's the only way you can get something like this. And they're willing to try things on the products they wouldn't be able to try in the stores. So that right there is an awesome one that's definitely gonna be going in our drink collection. I couldn't even bring myself to drink from it. That's just too cool. And for the price, I am thinking this one's another 15. Glass is actually kind of small, so I, I have to give it like a 9. About, I was just gonna say 8.99, so that's pretty pretty close. Oh, okay. All right, so 8.99. Uh, you know I'm not a fan of those in between <laughs> prices. It's like 5, 10, 15, or 20. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go with the 899 SpongeBob Summer, and that brings us to 33 bucks. It's gonna be hard to beat last month's Nick box, but this is doing pretty good. All right, next item. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this. Uh, another edition. So they started this series out with these connectable base ones, and we have all of them, and they all connect to make one landscape, but the landscape doesn't make a whole lot of sense, to be honest. Not just that the figures' qualities have not been that great, but nonetheless, we will still add them all up at the end. And again, the sandy, ouch, is bad. So we have the figures' base, which is, we've gotten enough of that. It's not too bad, it's supposed to be like jelly fills, I guess, really scraped up for water. One, but like, dude, like, come on, the arms are coming off. As somebody who's a big fan of Sandy's dome, and when they do do the dome design, you got the crazy mold line connecting it on top, which is okay, it's, you know, normal. And then not just to mention, you can literally, I can physically touch the drip off from the molding on her hands. Uh, they're just not the best quality figures, to be 100% honest. I just would rather they stop that. <laughs> Unless they're gonna make them high quality, because to me, the people that pick up the SpongeBob box is not your seven-year-old who likes Spongebob. People that pick up the Spongebob box on average are usually people that are a little older, maybe have a, a debit card or a little bit more money. So I feel like this to me looks like, like almost like a smash them or like a Fisher Price toy. It doesn't give me any details whatsoever to make me think this was made for an adult. And the fact so, that it sticks on but sideways doesn't even make sense. Just ignore that thing. I always say out of the Spongebob box, whenever this particular connecting figure thing happens, the only one I've ever kept is this Patrick right there because he has the Glove World balloon and it just goes perfect there, but it is what it is. So we got this guy right there. We're gonna go ahead and give it a, uh, what do you wanna say, $8.99? How much to try to sell it for? They probably try to sell it for 10 because it's big. Yeah, this is 10 bucks, so that's how much they would sell it for, but I still, even if you subtract this item, I would still recommend the SpongeBob box and I always say that, but I just wanna be honest with you guys because you guys are my comfort cartoon family. But for this particular thing that they're doing in the SpongeBob boxes, I'm not the hugest fan. All right, then next up, we got a straw, which is pretty cool. Well, we gotta get that uh, like what, five that's, bucks. Uh, compliments that. Yeah, exactly. It goes with the tall glass right here, which is kind of cool because Patrick is actually on that cup. He's using a straw similar to this. So that would go inside your cup just like that. I gotta give this five bucks. $3.99. Yeah. $3.99 for the straw. I mean, I, I see that, but it's that label, that black, that yellow labeling with the black label underneath. I see that at box lunch being for like $4.99. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and do $3.99 just to be a little light on it though because we went a little high on the figure. Okay, so we're at about 
$49 right now. We're keeping it going. There's only two items left in here. This looks like a towel to me, but what do we got for the design on the towel? Oh, this is a classic SpongeBob design. We have him laying back, relaxing. You can lay it down on the floor and you get to see SpongeBob hanging out in the pool, or you can lay down on SpongeBob. I mean, he is absorbent, so it would be good for you to dry off. This is so cool. The only problem with these, I, I never get to use them because they're too sick to ever use. But if you're the kind of person who's a maniac, but what are we giving this one? I'm giving this 20 bucks, solid. Yeah, it's a towel, it's easy. 20 bucks, solid. Honestly, I feel like this would be more than $20, but we're gonna go ahead and do $20. We are at $69. Okay, so our last item here. Did we double the value? Let's see what we got here. Muscle Beach Muscle oh, Tea. That is. <laughs> and it's a pink, bro. So we got a Muscle Beach Goo Lagoon. Damn, look at SpongeBob and Patrick looking strapped. It's Damn. time to grow myself large and wide. <laughs> oh, what is it spelled? Muscle, like the muscles animal, like the actual oyster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Do you feel it? It has that total like gym shop t-shirt like yeah. a material. That is awesome. But without the sleeves, I feel like that could lose some value though. No, <laughs> it depends on the guns inside. <laughs> That's probably gotta be what, 15? Oh no. 20? Easy. Easy. All right, let's do 22 dollars uh, All right. That's like hot topic price for a single shirt. All right, but you would never find this shirt at a hot topic. No, yeah, this would be a BL for sure. So this right here with Ooh, the fifth. They don't, they don't skip calf day either. Yeah, for $22.99 plus the price we had before. We're at $91, which is absolutely insane. We literally did double that value. And if you wanted to even add more, the box itself can be inverted to make an awesome SpongeBob design. You guys know me. I always keep these boxes up here. Actually, we have a couple of them. I keep them up here. It's almost like billboards, essentially. But I personally like the way that they're shipped. But it is really cool. You have another option on the inside. But I'm going to rock that Goo Lagoon side all day. Absolutely awesome. As always, the SpongeBob box. Guys, if you guys enjoy this, make sure to hit the like button and check out my link at the top of the description. When you check that out, it helps out the channel. I will greatly appreciate it. And again, I recommend it so much. An absolutely awesome service. So go check it out. But you guys know the drill. Scan it. Okay, so the shirt's going with all my other Nickelodeon clothing. And the towel's gonna go with that stuff as well because I don't know where else to put it in. Until we hang it up somewhere, which I don't really know because we have so many things that are hangable. I really want to save the hangable space that we have left that is distinctly for that. And the straw, of course, is gonna go with the cup inside of my cabinet with all my other drink collection. And the Goo Lagoon pin, make sure you stay ready for it because it is gonna be in the Nickelodeon pin video when we get to that. Okay, and for our ice cream SpongeBob pop, I decided to put it right here. I don't know why, but all this stuff kind of gives me that summer vibe. He's in his swim trunks. And then over here, we got the Fry Cook Games. It's giving me a, a nice summer vibe, so I would have to put that right there. All right, guys, that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button. Do not leave this video without hitting the like button, guys. And also, make sure you go check me out on Whatnot if you guys aren't already. We already have some awesome stuff. It's going to be auctioned off over there, so do not miss that. You get $10 off your first purchase, which is essentially a free Funko Pop, and who doesn't want that? So go check that out, and I'll also see you guys over here in the last epic video on this channel. I know you're going to love it, and as always, Rep Pack. I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Boop.